So we lost three convoys. Ugh. We've got plenty more, but there were like a thousand men on those convoys. That's the worst part of it. Yeah, like uh, like we said at the end of the last episode, this is going to be touch and go until Pearl Harbor. Until the U.S. joins the war on our side, um, Japan is going to be very navally dominant. Um, the Brits do have some ships in the South China Sea, and hopefully they'll send more. They're sending lots of infantry to protect the Raj, so hopefully they'll send escort fleets to protect those transports, which will in turn cause them to, uh, um... It'll siphon off. Get, in, get into some scraps with the, the Japanese Navy that we can use to our advantage. Uh... How are these guys looking, repair-wise? Man, that cruiser took a beating. I'm surprised that it got home. Um, yeah, we want to be at full strength when we fight him again, so... It's now fairly safe to say that, I mean, even if they took this naval base, we can cross the strait here, we can cross the strait there, and we could overwhelm them. Um, Especially if they're not willing to commit serious troops to this. Yeah. I just want to evict them. Yeah, we just have to get get our island back. That's that's the important part right now. Where Here is... they come. Okay, so was that... Nendo. Okay, so they, they invaded a French island. Okay, there they are. We have, yeah, we've got to stop this. We've got to put a stop to it. Don't know how many divisions that is. So let's look at our sea regions. So they have ships in the Solomon Sea. They have to have at least one ship there in order to deploy. Oh man, I wish we had a bigger fleet. Are we? Is the fleet deploying? Okay, so the fleet is deploying. So we're protected if we want to. Uh, war economy, hell. And then the next one will increase our conscription law. We're protected, theoretically, if we want to send troops here. I think we, we've got to we've got to do more than just wait. We've got to get our islands back. Yeah. So let's let's bring this guy down here from uh, the Dutch. Okay. So they are they're trying to land at Rabaul. We are holding them back quite effectively. Yeah, we can't. I mean, we can't just take this down to speed three now. We can't just. I don't think we can sit on the defensive in our own islands. We've got to evict them. Maybe they'll give up, and okay. send these troops somewhere else. Don't catch the transport. It'd be nice if we had some marines. We do attach to each of those divisions, I thought. Uh, Marines, you actually have to change the the core division template. For, oh, right on. Uh, oh, 29 ships. Okay, so... We're in trouble. This is, this is going to end up being uh, a situation where I should have stayed with my original plan to keep everybody on the home islands. Um, we're going to have to retreat entirely from this... this uh, Yep, this we've position. we've we've lost the north. <laughs> yeah, that's that's too many. Um, we're never we're never gonna defeat twenty nine. Um, and also, I'm marching across the interior of New Guinea, which was probably not the smartest thing attrition wise. But Hungary has joined the Axis. Also, not surprising. Second Vienna Award. Yeah. State of the coast. I wish you could give him a move order and tell him the state of the coast. Let's see. Industry is still ahead of time. Um, we've got a bonus on radar. Land doctrine we're still researching. Ooh, we do have a nice bonus on artillery. One day. <laughs> Thank you, Commonwealth. Might as well get the advanced one, too. We're going to need it soon. Yeah, so what we've I can gotta, We've got to prepare to go completely on the defensive. Yeah, so what 
what's probably going to happen is we're going to have to start fielding conscripts left and right as soon as we have the manpower to do it. Um, we're going to have a, <laughs> a rough and rugged Australian uh, conscript army. Yep. Hopefully we can... Where is our, where is our actual fleet? Do we want to lose them in that engagement? No, I'm just wondering where they went. They're not currently engaged in combat, even though they're set to protect the Solomon Sea, so I'm not sure where they are. Alright, so from this naval base, Port Morley, I want you all to get your asses to Brisbane. I don't think they have naval range to the Coral Sea, so we should be okay with that. Oh my that. goodness. Yeah. See, now they're invading with yeah, we've, tanks. We've, we've lost it. We've lost the north. So we've lost two of our seven divisions. Again, easily replaced once we have the manpower. Um, how much is our current division template? Because it might be worth it to throw a couple of these guys into, into training right now. Um, manpower use... 11,100, so we can start, we could safely start training one division right now. And should. Yeah, I mean, let's, uh, yeah, New South Wales, and this army, which currently doesn't have any orders, so we can't assign new divisions to it. Okay. We got aggressive thinking that they hadn't committed this large a force to what they were doing. We, yeah. were, we were wrong. Well, the other thing is we didn't have enough um, divisions really to safeguard all of the ports in in the, uh, the islands up here. So, By the way, that defensive yeah. air force, that needs to start soon. They're going to be within bombing range. Yeah, I think, based on what we've seen so far, they mostly just have fighters and naval bombers. Um, there's an airfield there they could capture. There's an airfield here they could capture. Can we raise it? <laughs> I wish. That would be awesome if we could just light this whole area on fire. Go old school, scorched earth. <laughs> I don't think that was that was a tactic that was used in World War II, but... Uh, yeah, we need we need to get some conscription going soon. Squash the squander bugs. Um, after this, I would do the women's division. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Wasteful spending on inflation. Treaty of Kravoya. More concessions to Bulgaria. Uh, yep. Taking money away from war bonds in the war effort. Okay. We'll so. take the national unity, but then we need the manpower. Yeah. I think that is quite, quite right. <sighs> Well, now we've got to defend the homeland. Oh, don't tell me they're sending ships down here already. Okay, there's only six, so that we could that we could deal with. That's a patrol we could deal with. Um, we probably want to change our our naval orders to um, Australian squadron. Don't patrol the Solomon don't go Sea up there. either. I wouldn't go the Solomon Sea either. Let's see. We know they're there in force. So we want to right click to add region. There we go. So that will also prevent them from invading New Zealand. So that'll that'll be good for. Well, we'll help our Kiwi pals as best we can here. Now I'm really glad that I didn't uh, decide to try to uh, invest in. Uh... Oh, they are attacking our transports. Where are our, where's our navy? Where is our navy? You have very specific orders to defend. I don't know if you can give navies a direct attack order. I think they just have to try to catch up. This is not good. Yeah, this is very, very not good. <laughs> this is called I don't usually play naval powers in Hearts of Iron 4, and I don't usually play island nations in Hearts of Iron 4. Okay, so we got three divisions back on land. I think Will our... we get a fourth? Will our navy show up? <laughs> I 
This is a, such a crappy little task force. Any intervention from our Navy could uh, save these men's lives. Okay, so one of our transports is currently acting as a screen for the other. <laughs> so we now have... Okay, yeah, so we lost another division. That's a pretty heroic story, though. Yeah. A division of convoys gave their lives so that at least more than half of our armed forces could return home. But I'll take it. Better support I'm so glad that number four is about to go back up to five. That's comforting. We are now at a steel deficit. Is that because our template changed or because they can't get the steel to us? It looks like it's just because our template changed. So they can, yeah. We can still get British steel through the, uh, the Suez Canal. And that's the Japanese are not really threatening that trade at all. So just need to get our we need to get another more divisions. We need to rebuild. Let All them right. let them take those islands up north. We guard can't. naval bases, guard coastline. We don't really need to worry about forts. Don't really need to worry about resistance. And any new divisions that are deployed are going to immediately become part of this order. I always hit the wrong... Okay, I hit the correct button. I thought I hit the wrong button, but I hit the correct so, button. So, yep, yeah, touch and go. You weren't kidding. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, they're... they're oh, oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay, so they've landed on the mainland. <laughs> we will fight them on the beaches. Why are you going to Canberra? Yeah, we gotta contain that as best we can. Yeah. So our Navy's not really doing a great job. <laughs> Hate to put it on you guys, but uh, really not really not impressed. Uh, <laughs> not impressed with your ability to defend really anything. I guess the Dutch gave up, yeah, they gave up this harbor. That's why they were able Here to- Here come the here. Brits! That's the, I think that's the Kiwis. Yeah. Yeah! It's an armor division. Bob <laughs> Semple! Yeah, Kiwi! Oh, please let it be Bob Semple tanks. I would love it if the New Zealanders are coming to save us with Bob Semple tanks. <laughs> the squander bugs are squashed. Now All get right. manpower. Let's, uh, let's get the, uh, the women in gear. is needed at the front, so driving, signal, and maintenance jobs will be handled by thousands of Australia's women. Let's get the girls get the girls into battle. Oh wow, we got lots of forts in this area. That's awesome. <laughs> that is that is one of the most beautiful things I've seen all day, actually. Uh, did they just take Darwin and then abandon it? Oh yeah, because you, you needed troops elsewhere, like I don't know. And the key the Kiwis have come to help us. We love you, little bros. Yeah. And Zach! Okay, don't stay there. Hold your horses. We're gonna get a nice, nice planning bonus, and then we're gonna evict them from whatever this island is. <laughs> Are they seriously gonna try and invade Mel? Where is our navy? Where is our goddamn navy? Do they even have orders? Australia Squadron, full strength. They haven't been in a single battle. They're on patrol. I mean, maybe we should put them on search and destroy. Especially, you have them looking to avoid confrontation, remember? All right, let's, yeah, let's set them on fire at will. Let's see if that changes things. I suppose once we get our organization back up, we can see if, uh, what are we low on? Tungsten? Who's giving us tungsten? Did we lose our tungsten treaty? Apparently we lost a tungsten treaty with somebody. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, this is going to be difficult. We do not have enough troops, and we don't have enough political power to hire more. <laughs> uh, 
Why is it always when we're recording that it, <laughs> that it, it turns into like the worst game of Hearts of Iron I've ever played? <laughs> Things go yeah. pear shaped. All right, get get back to the. Oh my god! It's only one division too. Centralized fire control. That'll be very helpful. I'll take it. I mean, we do have the vastly superior troops. Get there. Railroads! I knew building railroads was a good idea. Sweeping defense of the homeland. It's dramatic stuff. Yeah. So they took... Queensland. Is that... Oh, that's Brisbane, yeah. All right. Okay, cool. We crushed them at the straight. We've got the seventh division and the first. This is not a cavalry division. Um, we should change that. So this will be. I mean, we don't have a second infantry anymore, so you guys get to be the second infantry. And uh, these guys, who's the more experienced? Okay, so these are going to be, because they, they marched from Darwin and retook this island, these are going to be the Darwin Devils. We, we dig it. Yeah. I'll, so we can actually read it. I'll just take out the word infantry here. Second infantry Darwin Devils. There we go. All right. So we have our first named regiment. We're going to retake Townsville and get the Powerpuff Girls back on the front lines. <laughs> 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 the mayor of Townsville appreciates it. Oh, shit. Did they just land on Sydney? Sydney. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Japan! <laughs> See, that's something that is a little bit unrealistic about Hoi 4, is, like, there would be <laughs> civil defense forces there. <laughs> like, there's there's no way that a nation state would just leave no people in its capital. Um, it's hey, like, well, you're the player. It's your fault that there's no troops there. Well, hey, Kiwi bros, like, if you want to come back... Oh, shoot, they're pushing. They're blobbing, but they've only got, like, four divisions on the entire island. That's the thing. Um, so you guys... I'm going to now reassign you to this order. We didn't even get an event for the fall of Sydney. I think they just walked through. Okay, we lost a battle. No, we won the battle. It says victory. Oh, okay, yeah. We there did we go. Win. We'll so take it. We lost a bunch of ships, but we sunk 14 destroyers. And I think that was... Yeah, that was everything except for their carrier. So if their carrier tries to fight us again, it's going to die immediately because it has no screening ships. Um, all right. So we're going to try to contain them as best we can. Ugh. Strategic redeployment on... Those railroads are a freaking lifesaver. They are. We're gonna we're gonna fight off this invasion. They're we just will. being annoying. Yeah, they're they're. I mean, they can they can keep invading, but they're not gonna get enough of a foothold to actually do anything significant to us. So. And uh, this will go down in the the annals of history as uh, an epic defense of the homeland, which we'll take. Yeah. These four units are going to one day be be sipping sake in Kyoto after the surrender of Japan. We just need Japan to get froggy and bomb the United States. <laughs> That's what yeah. we need to happen. Hey, I heard there's a whole bunch of big warships in Pearl Harbor <laughs> that are extremely vulnerable right now to naval bombardment. Hey, USA, Japan needs oil. Netherlands has oh. capitulated. So Not good. They held out until July of 1940, which I think what is... What happens to the Dutch Indies? 
they stay. Their government in exile still retains control of, yes. of their, their colonies. So that... Fall of New South Wales, yeah. Okay, so... We'll ignore that for now. Um, that was... That was... They're just, they're just kidding. It's fine. It's all fine. 